Nothing says your wedding day like some beautiful flowers. From the bouquet to the church pews and of course the centerpieces, flowers just set the tone and the mode of your day. Joining us now with how they can help you step up your decor is owner of Sweet Tea Flowers, Alicia Rupan. Alicia, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here with you today. Of course, we're so excited to talk about Sweet Tea Flowers. Yeah. So first and foremost, for our viewers who have maybe never heard of your business, give us an overall glimpse of who you are. So we're an online-based business located um, in San Carlos, newly. Um, we've been online-based for about almost four years. Um, it was a blessing in disguise to start off. Right before the pandemic, we um, started off with doing uh, everyday orders. Um, and once the pandemic hit, it was really sad because the world was shut down, mm -hmm. but flowers were the one thing that was going where people couldn't go. Um, flowers are great for like, everyday occasions, whether it's a happy occasion, a sad occasion, it just brings a smile to people's faces. So mm -hmm. um, throughout that time, I was really blessed to be able to keep building my portfolio in my new business. It wasn't like I was shut down. Um, and you know, when you're starting a business, sometimes you always think you need a storefront, but the, yeah. I think the most important part and the hardest part is just starting. It takes a lot of courage. Um, so the timing of everything was just Perfect. <laughs> and now here you are today with this wonderfully blooming business, no pun intended. <laughs> so what are some of the services that Sweet Tea Flowers offers? So we do everyday orders to whether it's like a birthday, an anniversary, um, to workshops. We host uh, interactive workshops where people come in um, and are able to enjoy drinks and snacks and, you know, create a little uh, special arrangement to take home. And um, we do events as in weddings and funerals. Um, so a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Now you mentioned the workshops. I'd love to touch on that. Why was it important for you to create a space where people can come and just learn how to make their own floral arrangement? So art, if flowers are a form of art and everybody has their own art that like makes you you. So mm -hmm. it's just like what makes you unique? Like. You could be doing a makeup, you could be doing flowers, you could be doing, there's so many different things. Everybody's gonna do it differently, but it's just your art and how you make things special. So, you know, a lot of times people are like, I'm not artistic, I can't do that, I don't know what to do, but you can. Um, and so with, with doing workshops, I think what I like to put out there is everybody is artistic and you have the courage, it's just creativity takes courage. It does. And when I host workshops, my favorite part is being able to see, you know, there could be 10 or 15 people um, at a time and you could be showing them how to make a, a beautiful arrangement, but everybody's is gonna come out different. Yeah. The, no, not, no art could be duplicated. So. Uh, that's so true too yeah. and that's what makes art so special exactly unique. well you brought a workshop with you today so we're gonna go walk over to the demo area and build a bouquet let's do it yes. Alicia I'm very excited I'm excited as well and it's really nice because my um, my uh, artistic abilities are probably not quite up to yours but I'd love to do this with you so what's some of the first steps like I said you're artistic it just takes a little courage so what I'm gonna <laughs> have you do is pick out whatever blooms look the best to you oh. when I'm picking when I'm picking my um, flowers at the flower mart I p try to pick what stands out to you the most as in the roses or the colors um, and then we'll wrap it together perfect well I love the color purple so I'm gonna I go could tell. Yes. <laughs> as you can tell so I'm gonna do maybe a couple of and what's the name of this flower those are irises wonderful and I'm gonna grab a couple of these over here because I think purple and white go together really well and um, shoot, I don't know. Maybe you can guide me here. Maybe a couple of roses? Yeah. Some These are a beautiful here. bloom. They're going to open up like heart shapes. Love it. And what kind of roses are these? These are garden roses. Oh, they're so gorgeous. Let's give you some pink. Mm hmm. Okay. So we kind of just pick and choose, right? Pick and choose. When I'm wrapping bouquets, um, my favorite part about it is to kind of arrange whatever looks as nice to you. When you put it in a vase, mm -hmm. you just chop it off and pop it in the water. So Wonderful. whatever you think like looks the best to you. It, and that looks really that. nice. Let's put in another rose right there. Yes, perfect. I think it needs a little bit more volume. Yes. Like you said, maybe we can add some, some greenery over here. Yes, some greenery. I'm gonna give you some more purple. How's that? Is that too much? Do we no, think that's, that's perfect. enough? perfect. I don't think any a bouquet could ever have enough. I think the more <laughs> the better. The more the better. Love this. How about that? That is beautiful. 
All and right. tell us more about when and where people can find out about these workshops. Yeah, so I am online based. I have a website. It's www.sweetteaflowers.com. Mm -hmm. And I'm also very active and on... I'll hold these for you while you do that. All right. And you're also active on social media, correct? Yes, Instagram, Facebook. Um, those are the best ways to stay in the loop of everything going on. We are actually hosting, um, Valentine's week is next week, so um, we will be hosting a Galentine's event on Monday. Uh, so grab your gal pals and stop on by. Oh, so exciting, Galentine's Day. And I love that you're, so what are you wrapping this in for us? Because this is beautiful. This is wrapping paper and it's actually my favorite color, rose gold, because it yes. could go with anything and make it it's neutral. I mean, already this looks it's like, oh my gosh, uh, something that you'd go to the flower shop for, probably pay a really pretty penny because it's so beautiful. But right here, we did it in the workshop. Yes. So, so gorgeous. The bouquet bars are always, um, that's what's included at my workshops. It's mm -hmm. a, a, you get to make your bouquet and take it home. A couple Beautiful. of blooms and take it home to go. So the best thing about this, you just cut the bottoms and stick it in water. And then here we are. What do you guys think? How did we do? I all obviously had Alicia's um, teaching over here, but this looks very gorgeous. Oh. And it matches you. Thank you, it does. <laughs> I, I love it. Well, thank you so much, Alicia, for joining us here on Live in the Bay. We appreciate it thank so much. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. To learn more, head to sweetteaflowers.com, and we'll also have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv.